Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this event. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something in the air. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything the here in WWE. Backstage, Corey, has been growing with every minute. Everybody's raring to go. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Don't even think about going anywhere. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Let's get this party started. Making his way to the ring. What a great Amarillo, match we have Texas. here to start off this night, guys. Weighing and Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, the it could WCW very well fit our main event. Hardcore champion, the hardcore icon, Terry Funky. This young man here is an incredible talent. And his opponent, accompanied by Adam Cole, representing the Undisputed Era from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected, made the career decision to join the opportunistic crew known as the Undisputed Era. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man.
And there's the bell. Oh. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this is one of those matches where it's wow. hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. inside the ring now. guy has plenty of fight left in him. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Double underhook suplex. Belly to back suplex coming. No! Must come down. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough? We've got a cover on. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, Roderick Strong. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.
The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. Tag team matchup on the way. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster today in a match that is sure to not disappoint. I cannot wait. Here comes the Undisputed Era. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, the World Tag Team Champion, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, the Undisputed Despite what Byron Saxon said about him in the past, Shelton Benjamin is a true legend, and he's ready for action. The gold standard in WWE. And their opponents, first, from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. This is incredible. Yes. Part of the famed early 2000s class from Ohio Valley Wrestling, Shelton came up with guys like Brock Lesnar, Batista, Randy Orton, John Cena. What a treat for the NXT universe. Don't forget a standout amateur wrestling career at the University of Minnesota. One of the best school, Byron, not like where you went. The power of Tazawa. All the way from Kobe, Japan, here is Akira Tozawa. And not only is Akira Tozawa a star in Japan, but his exploits are known the world over. I got news for you guys, he doesn't so you don't have to. Legal men are in the ring and set Ouch. to start things off here. We're ready to go. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. Part of the lawless outfit known as the Undisputed Era, O'Reilly is set to wreak havoc. Yeah, sometimes you need to go outside the bounds of the rule to make noise. Kyle O'Reilly knows that. Safety 
Paul. I'm not sure you can. Ooh, what impact. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Nice. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, man. Beautiful technique. Looks like he's starting to falter. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Yeah, he's starting to look overmatched and maybe a little overwhelmed right now. Oh, that's it. attack. Oh, man. <laughs> Game, set, match, this one. He's got the shoulders down. They got it. Well, the champions worked extremely hard in that matchup. Oh, that's undeniable. What a performance by these superstars. And it looks like we have a welcoming committee. Oh, look at these superstars. It's like they're calling their shots, Cole. Well, they're obviously not out here to uh, show any type of respect for the champions. Get it on right now. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Singles action on tap right now. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Taking on some tough competition.
Lock the doors. Hide uh, your kids. The Hide Luna your Tech wife. Fringe is in the house. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. A Grand Slam champion in WWE, one of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee, Byron. Oh. Big-time singles matches on deck here. And, Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some oh, battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. You've got to believe this one's over. What a stop. Good grief. What's this? Mention of Gucci Absolutely planet. Suplex. He looks a bit off his game here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. Bang. He's on the defensive now. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Guys, I spoke to Dean Ambrose earlier, and he admits to not being a guy who sets a lot of goals. He doesn't have a five-year plan. He works off more of a five look. Dean Ambrose, he looks like he's got this. Is he done? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Byron brings up Dean Ambrose's philosophy on life. Sometimes that approach doesn't work. Sometimes it angers people and gets Dean beat up. But Dean would do things any differently. He's gotten him to where he is today. Well, this has always been Dean Ambrose's only path. 
whether it would be wrestling for hot dogs and handshakes or chasing championships, yeah. Dean Ambrose has never really had a plan B. Oh boy, he is rolling. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect play. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Too close for comfort. We're gonna take more than that. Controls the pace of a match. Not like this guy. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Look at this. Duplex. Moonsault. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Here we go. This must be it. Oh, my. Scoop slam. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, I'm going right after the neck. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Yes! That has got to be it. All that's left now is for Ann There's the pinfall and the victory. Now let's look back at that amazing action. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. That'll do it. And it's Dean Ambrose ending the night with his hand raised. A much-deserved victory. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. The next match has all the makings of a great one. Stay right where you are, people. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents. Who will reign supreme?
Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the NXT Women's Champion, E.O. Shiro. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. Underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. for much more than this, especially given how talented these women are. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. Second too soon. Close call there. And Oscar was able to get out of the way there. Yeah, she's a little bundle of energy right now.
you got to wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up. Oh, no, look at Asuka. She could snap her arm. This one's over, guys. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Bringing it back into the ring. Look at Asuka stalking her. Look at Asuka go. My goodness. Striking from every direction. And one to the face. That's it. That's what she needed. Looking for the quick cover is Asuka. True testament to grit. How in the world? Look at her go. Asuka looking to attack from high. Look at this. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. Got the up. Oh my goodness, crushing it. You gotta believe this one's over. Nice half kick, great elevation. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Max Handel finds the mark. Asuka's a history maker, and she needs no one's help to conquer the record books. A prime example came at 2017 Survivor Series when she was the last woman standing, single-handedly winning the elimination match for her team. A few inches off there. Inches? She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Nobody wants to face Asuka when she's rolling. Uh, now look at Asuka. She could snap her arm. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. You know, Corey, that Survivor Series feat you bring up is only half the story. Asuka is the seventh superstar and first woman to be both the Survivor Series sole survivor and a Royal Rumble match winner. Michael, uh oh, uh oh, Asuka, Asuka in control. The Asuka lock, uh oh. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. And Corey, she releases the hold. Looks like a questionable decision on paper, but I'm sure she's looking for the quick cover is Asuka. Asuka did it. What a huge win. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A-game every time, I guess. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. It's all over, and Asuka stands victorious. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. Done with one and on to another great matchup. Singles match on tap next.
Jay. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. Jericho's done everything there is to do in WWE and beyond. Now he's a huge rock star touring the world with Fozzie. Is there anything Jericho can't do? Uh, I'm going to say absolutely not. I think Chris Jericho likes me. You know what happens, Byron, when you think Jericho likes you? Don't say you it. You know what happens? Don't say it. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 193 pounds, Crazy Kid Masuka Tanaka. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. And we're underway. Man. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. The constant reinvention of Chris Jericho has been what's kept him one of WWE's most enduring superstars. Look, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kiss up to watch J. Saxton. But the fact is, your name's on the list of Jericho in permanent. I thought it was just a rumor. Jericho's father played in the NHL. Y2J's love outside WWE is music. For years, Chris Jericho's been the front man for the heavy metal band Fozzy. The band has toured the world and released seven albums since the year 2000. Y2J also has one of the most popular podcasts on the internet, aptly named Talk is Jericho. Harsh impact. Of all the things Chris Jericho does outside of the world of sports entertainment, the lead singer of Fozzie and the host of the smash hit Talk is Jericho podcast is also a graduate of the famous Groundling sketch comedy troupe in Los Angeles, California. And let's not forget, Cole, that Y2J is a New York Times best-selling author. Chris Jericho could probably put the skates on right now and be signed to an NHL contract if he really wanted to. Chris Jericho's that impressive as a renaissance man, an athlete, and a human being. Oh my goodness, this curse! Oh! <laughs> oh man! Insiguri! He's looking a little weary here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. I'd never count this guy out, Ouch. but I'll tell you what, he's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them. When this guy's on, look out. 
Jericho. But he's got to capitalize now. Executed perfectly. Here's Kuro Breaker. That was nasty. That has got to be it. He's going for the pin. And he got a near fall out of it. Man, oh man. That was it, Cole. Big move coming. Chris Jericho is on the wrong end of an offensive campaign. Simply put, he's in trouble and needs to find a way out. He can turn it on in a hurry. What's he going to do with it? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Whoa, Jericho able to avoid damage. What a cagey maneuver. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. <laughs> Takes him down in a major way, too. Farms for the second row. Driving down. Absorbing a little bit of punishment here. Nothing to be overly concerned about, though. Oh, boy, he is rolling. The lion salt! That's what he was looking for, Michael. And a pen attempt. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Let's look back on the action from the last match. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. feeling good about his performance tonight. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. I think... He's not going to like this. Here comes Breaker! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Would you look at the disgusting smirk on Jericho's face?
These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Get ready for some WWE magic. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, Phenomenal. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the world champion, the Phenomenal, AJ Styles. AJ Styles has constantly proven that he is a mastermind of offensive innovation, and it has taken him to the championship promised land on multiple occasions. Big stage, big fight. AJ Styles is ready. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history. And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never think the Lesnar lost, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same.
This could stop AJ Styles for a while. It might, but it probably won't. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He just oh, has wow. to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. You know, guys, when Brock Lesnar came into WWE in 2002, he was immediately dubbed the next big thing. And I think it's safe to say that that moniker was pretty accurate. an accurate assessment of Lesnar, as Michael was saying, but truth be told, he didn't need a catchy nickname. Everybody could already see how dangerous he was. Yeah, especially Matt and Jeff Hardy, who Lesnar completely decimated at the... Oh, boy. That oh, bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not oh, again, oh. not again. A third, another power bomb. This could be it, guys. Oh, man, AJ Styles is in trouble. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Uh-oh, here comes the phenomenal one. What a stop. Good grief. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. is the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Oh, what a slam. Hooked him up. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. You can bet every superstar on the run going for broke. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. But he's very aware of who he's in there with. And no, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? Oh, that's the impact. Brock is feeling it. Good luck to you. Back suplex. Oh boy. That not for a oh, bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not on. again. Not again. A third time. Got a third time. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh man, AJ Styles is in trouble. Could he tap out time? Kamara Lock is in. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Beautiful technique. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Incoming. Look at this. Big slam. Styles. Styles 
is always thinking. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. attack he's going for it all look out and Lester goes for the pin here's the cover a kick out and he almost had him not quite Lesnar drives him down, but Coley's not finished. No, not at all. Lesnar again with the power. Another power bomb. That should do it. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. Tough to top that one, folks. We were lucky to be here to witness a match filled with technical prowess, amazing moves, here and seemingly non-stop action. Lesnar! Big singles win here, guys. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody... seems to relish this. It's now time for our main event. Don't go anywhere.
making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 174 pounds, the WCW Cruiserweight Champion, the professional Loki. Guys, you have to be impressed with the shape the champ's in for this matchup. I'm not at all surprised. From what I understand, if the champ's not either in the ring or sleeping, you can find him training. Oh, this is going to be good. And his opponent, first, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is a man who has never made an idle threat. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. If there is hostility, if there is tension to be had, Samoa Joe will be the first one in line. A lethal hybrid of size, speed, technique, and agility. Samoa Joe is second to none. Japan, weighing in at 187 pounds, Tiger Max. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. the South Pacific Samoa Joe looking for an opening Jeez. in the early going. I would love if we put somebody like a Pat O'Connor or George Hackenschmidt in a time machine to get their thoughts on a triple threat match like this. Boom! <laughs> The sudden stop at the end. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Hooked up. Driver. she has left.
going to see here. Hung up. Neckbreaker! Joe is rolling, and he doesn't have an answer for it. See here. Hung up on the step a long way down. I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. Look at him. Oh boy, he is rolling. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ouch. Now watch the slam for the 30. He's looking at it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Something big is coming. Look at this. He's in full control now. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's in big... Whoa! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Harsh impact. He has something big planned. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is good. What's he got in mind? But little Jimmy hurts. He may very well have run out of gas. The triple threat match is definitely beginning to test his metal. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match. Of course, he understands that now, but it might be too little or too late. What are we gonna see here? Hung up on the drop from above. Here he goes. Boom! Face first. That's... I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. How'd he do that? that match could have gone on a little longer. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Tiger Max. Big pinfall victory here tonight. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. That's exactly why these competitors are main eventers. What an amazing match.